Hello Virgo! How are you guys doing? Welcome to your June Tarot reading. This is JJ. I tried recording your reading a bit earlier just now and it, it was so high strung and weird that I just I I just canceled that shit. Sorry. Because I just was not convinced at all and I couldn't find the right words and someone earlier on left a comment under um, I believe it was the reading for Sagittarius uh, where she noted that my lack of articulation in that video may be the result of some form of ascension well hey <laughs> um, if that is the case, cool, um, I'm down, I'm down. It doesn't help me get my job done because I need to write a lot and I need to be able to articulate myself and I've always, um, I've always been proud of my linguistic abilities <laughs> to some extent. I have been struggling though for the last, um, Two weeks or so which I find really odd because I'm I'm back in a country where the main language that is spoken is English and I should be very comfortable with my own mother tongue here or so you would think but and here I find myself just I find myself going off on tangents and often thinking in different languages seriously and it's just taking a toll on me and I'm freaking exhausted and the tarot is a language in and of itself it's a symbolic language but it's a language nonetheless and anyway Virgo I didn't want to put off your reading any longer because you've just been appearing in every other signs reading and it's just that's just been very intriguing to say the least so I just figured Let's try to make sense of what sort of role you play in other people's lives this month. Maybe we'll see some court cards appear. Maybe there'll be um, a clearer message in your reading here that will also help certain cross watchers understand that Virgo energy that has been overriding some of their readings and and I say that because on several occasions the hermit card has not appeared on its own sometimes the hermit card has appeared in combination with the four of swords which in my interpretation of events is a uh, <sighs> it's just a toned down version of the hermit and I'm sorry I, yeah, just because, here we go again, Virgo, I mean, like, well, I guess it makes sense that you will appear in your own reading, right next to the Emperor. I don't get the impression that you are at your best this month, I have to be honest. I get the impression that... You've been a little bit flaky. You've tried to be spontaneous, hasn't worked out. You may feel, have felt the urge at some point to be a bit too defensive and that may have backfired. And now for some of you, just making sure that I got all the cards that flipped here. This did not flip, so we're putting it back in, okay. So for some of you, um, you run the risk of exaggeration in the month of June, and this can be the result of the way that you may have handled a few things in May. So whether it was losing your temper, whether it was um, engaging in paranoid thinking, um, obsessing over your obsessing over certain projects, over certain work, not sleeping enough, and letting it 
affect you that way. Um, you find yourself really needing to tone things down a bit in June if you have a chance of recovering. And by recovering, I mean rejuvenating. I mean, seriously, filling up on that gas tank of yours that... Because you've just been making an appearance in, in different people's lives. You've been showing up one way or another. So, which tells me that you've been pretty active. Even if you haven't been physically present, you've been in people's minds and you've just been running around. You, okay, there's a really silly um, pickup line that I, I, I've, I've heard a few times, you know, being thrown in my direction, like, oh, you must be tired because you've been running around in my mind all day. It's that kind of um, feeling that I'm picking up on here. So you may be crossing a lot of people's minds and it's exhausting it's exhausting them but it's exhausting you even more because you could just be coming you know you could just be passing by in thought like very casually as in oh gee I wonder what happened to this person like this Virgo or um have you like you know you, friends could be talking amongst each other like have you heard from X, Y, Z, uh, I texted them and they didn't get back to me. Um, I just want to make sure that they're okay or whatever it is, right? So you are trying to recalibrate yourself. You are trying to right certain wrongs, Virgo? I don't, I don't know. I'm... Not entirely, again, sure of the energies that I'm picking up on here. But I can tell you that temperance is the solution and temperance has made an appearance here. Things will start to calm down. If you're still feeling a little bit frantic, this will come to pass. You do have the Emperor here, as well as the Eight of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles, which just suggests that you've been working so hard that I wouldn't be surprised if some of you are burning out. And really, no, that's too many cards, you guys. And just need to take some time off. You need to take some time off. I'm getting the sensation that traveling somewhere will really do you well in fact but not just anywhere travel back to a place where you used to feel very comfortable as a kid travel back to places where you created those childhood memories if you can revisit certain locations even in thought this might help you reconnect with parts of you that you thought you'd you, you thought you'd lost in one way, and this can be one way that you are, you are also able to uh, manifest You've just been very active in your imagination, and if you haven't, you will be very active and continuously active in your own head this month. If you think you haven't been active enough in other people's minds, my word, Virgo, I'm tired just reading your cards. I mean, You are overworking yourselves. You are running out of ideas. And you're starting to piss yourself off. I don't even think this is anyone else. I just think you're pissing yourself off. 
I don't think you're doing yourself any favors. You think that you're trying to be yourself? But you're not. It's like putting up an act that is eventually going to exhaust you if it hasn't already exhausted you. Something is just not right. Something is out of balance, Virgo, and it would be really great if, for your sake, You took a look at the bigger picture here, which is something difficult I'm asking of Virgo. I know this because usually you guys are great at looking at the details and this time around, I honestly think that you'll benefit more from having a global view as opposed to that local view. Try to expand your perspective here. And if at all possible, try to be impartial as well. Don't get too caught up in what could have been in all of the what ifs, because that's just going to run you down even further. Veering into the unknown and being prepared to create certain journeys for yourself that you have absolutely no control over will be a source of strength for you in June. This does require a lot of courage. It does require a lot of strength on your, on your behalf. But it will also be the reason why you become so much stronger by the end of the month. Aren't you tired, Virgo? Aren't you tired of always searching for the truth? Don't you wish that you could just, for once, let go let go and embrace uncertainty. Embrace, em embrace, embrace the thrill of the unknown. Throw yourself out there without any expectations. Don't force things. Stop forcing things. I feel like an intervention is going to come your way if you keep... Pushing, I don't know, pushing your own limits, trying to create out of nothing. I mean, you are running yourself dry. You are low on that spunk that drove you towards a certain kind of greatness in the path. And now... The more you keep trying to produce all this hard work, the more you find yourself finding it difficult to be creative and you have to turn back to certain procedures that were put in place Guidelines. You need to remind yourself of certain guidelines you set out that did at some point involve giving yourself a break. Giving yourself a break. Um,
toning down any compulsions. And if necessary, engaging in those activities that you that you used to find peace in, which you thought you you've outgrown, but which you can still go back to. This can be everything from, I don't know, drawing to singing to, like I said, visiting a childhood place. Whatever resonates with you, Virgo. Boy, am I tired. Um... What do I want to say? Additionally, you have three eights in your reading. Three eights. Let's see what that means. It has been a while since I've pulled out this journal in front of you guys. So. Oh, wow. Hello there. Oh, Virgo. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Three eights can talk about the prospect of a marriage, long term partnership, long term goals. Um, are we talking about coming together with an Aries? Are you having cold feet? Are you freaking out, Virgo? Are you thinking about someone who got away? Are you thinking about another fire sign? Could that other fire sign be a Sagittarius? Am I asking a lot of questions? <laughs> There are far too many major arcana cards here for me to ignore, Virgo. We have the Emperor. We have the Hermit, your own energy. Temperance. The Moon card. And we have Strength here. Leo, Pisces, Sagittarius, Aries, and Virgo. You have been running around a lot of people's minds, but you have also been thinking of a lot of people too. And something that Virgo needs to realize is that you really have the ability to wear some people out, but you also have the ability to wear yourself out even more. You're one of those signs that when we come into contact with you, you will either zap us with your energy or you will zap our energy. And I say this with love. We want to give you our energies. We are happy to have you in our lives. We are happy to accommodate you. And we're happy to be there for you. Because we know that you are there for us when your heart is into it. But if your heart is not there with us, 
then that's when all sorts of tensions starts to come to the surface. And that's when you start to get cold feet and question your validity and question your stance and question your approach to so many different aspects of your life that might have not even been the original point. That's when you start to go off on a tangent and you can start to freak out and you try to regain control and it just does not work out for you that way. Excuse the hair. I don't know what it will take for a Virgo to for once be okay to take a leap of faith into the unknown without having all the information, evidence, data, whatever it is that you need to put your mind at ease. But sometimes life doesn't give you lemons. It gives you something more like lime, which is a bit harder to squeeze and get any juice out of, but... It's just as delicious. And it's essentially the same thing. So just, I don't know, Virgo. But... You need to strike a balance between... what you have and what you don't have. And I know that statement makes no sense, but what I'm trying to say is that sometimes you have to be all right with having inklings and not more than inklings. Sometimes your intuition will come and tell you to just trust your gut regardless of like trust your gut about trusting your gut pretty much, you know? Does that make any sense? Take control of the blindfold. So allow yourself, allow yourself the allow yourself the time to be okay with your imperfections and your inability sometimes to control everything because no one is perfect. We are not perfect. We will make mistakes. We will continue making mistakes from our cradle to our grave. I'll be damned if we come across a situation where the path has been paved for us and if we had the answers to everything, life would just be pretty goddamn boring. So I'm going to tell you to enjoy this moon card. And I'm going to tell you to wear this blindfold proudly and just trust that at the end of this month 
If it doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger. And with that, I just bid you adieu because I am exhausted and I swear I'm going to fall asleep any minute now. <laughs> but I really do hope that this reading helped. And uh, thank you. I want to say a big, big, big thank you to all of those who continuously have my back, who have been supporting me, who have been leaving me kind comments. Thank you for all the likes, shares, subscribes, and for your patience, because I realize that I am often late with these readings. So thank you so much for still being there at the end of the day. I'm truly lucky to have you as a community here. And I will see you next month, Virgo.